Hello and welcome to the Purple States. We are going to be running through the seven main states that will swing the US presidential election. And today we're gonna to look at Georgia. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Marcus does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it relied upon as any advice at all. Georgia is an interesting state because if you look at the numbers, it realistically hasn't been a swing state until the last sort of 10 years. And overall, actually, the terms of it actually swinging are really low. Let me take you through that. Until 2020, when Biden carried Georgia, it hadn't changed from a Republican state till Bill Clinton back in 1992. And as you can see from the chart on screen, it shows you very clearly that it tends to be more to the right than the overall national populist vote. And that's what this chart is. It is the populist vote. But you can see only Biden appears on this number. And that's despite the fact that we have seen the Obama administration in 2008 and 12 win this through. So why is Georgia now a swing state? And it needs to be pointed out very clearly, it's around Atlanta. Atlanta is very, very urbanized and has a very diverse population. If you have a look, the 30 counties that make up Greater Atlanta were what caused Biden to carry this state through in 2020. And they're on again, because the demographics there are quite strange, I think is the way to say it to you. It has a very, very high black population. Now, they were very much for the Biden administration and voted very clearly and very heavily for them in 2020. The polls, however, in 2024 are not as robust for Harris as you would expect in this demographic. The next one to look at also is the white vote of college educated level. They are all over the shot and it's very hard to read them. They are certainly swinging back towards Trump and particularly in the age group that is 28 or under, they are clearly swinging back towards him. And that in itself also is not what you would normally see, particularly when you expand out the look into the overall national poll numbers. So where does that put Georgia? Where does that put this in with regards to why it matters to such a swing state? Well, there isn't anything that would really highlight it it being a different story for Harris this time around with regards to her retaining it. It doesn't look possible with the numbers, but what the polls do show that if she was to win Georgia, she wins nine out of 10 times it's run through the stimulators. Whereas for Trump, he basically needs to get it. And even if he does, he still only wins six out of 10 of those simulated numbers. So swing state, maybe, but a changer with regards to the, the outlook for the election on the night, absolutely. Because what you can gauge from this, it's not gonna be the winner, but it could be the loser. And by that, I mean, if Trump doesn't carry Georgia, it will probably mean that there will be a huge swing in trade and a huge swing on the overall night. It is one of the first states to declare. So watch it very closely in that big seven. Georgia, one to watch. Although the polls are pointing very clearly back to it being a Republican state, it could be a state that actually defines the night. 